Welcome to the Oil & Gas Report, brought to you by Catch Can. I'm your host, Rob Hislop. We are coming to you from the 2012 Global Petroleum Show in Calgary. One of the people, one of the many, I guess they're expecting about 60,000 people here over a three-day period, is uh, Stéphane Boulanger. That's right. You're one of the people walking around here trying to take it all in. Yeah, that's right. And how's it been going so far? Well, good, good. I, uh, I usually try to stop in at Catch Can every year I come in and just pick up some, some fresh goodies and whatever they have. Um, uh, you know, Ketchikan always has new new technologies and stuff that we I like to just see what's new and upcoming from mm -hmm. Ketchikan. So that's always good because I'm a drilling superintendent here for a company here in Calgary, mm -hmm. based out of Calgary. And and if we could find something that can make our you know the workplace safer for our men, then uh, we'll definitely take a serious look at it. Right. Tell us a little bit about your experience. Well, I'm uh, I started roughnecking back in 1998. Okay. And uh, from there, I kind of worked my way up. I, I worked for Simmons Drilling and Neighbors Drilling. And then uh, in 2003, I went to school and I took petroleum tech at SAIT, mm -hmm. uh, the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. So I'm a technologist by trade, I guess now. Mm -hmm. um, and then from then on, I went into the field as a drilling, super, a su drilling supervisor okay. for various oil and gas companies based here out of Calgary. And then uh, now I work for Bonavista Energy Limited here as a drilling superintendent. So. Okay. So You've been in the industry now for 98, just over 10 years, Yeah, basically, about yeah. 14 years. How have you seen things change? Uh, has, it, has it changed a lot in that time? Oh, absolutely. The technologies keep advancing mm -hmm. uh, with drilling rigs, drilling practices, drilling performances, uh, the safety equipment, um, safety codes and regulations, um, reporting standards as far as documentation, and, and uh, absolutely, mm -hmm. uh, any aspect of drilling, uh, which is what I'm familiar to in the oil and gas industry. Uh, everything's evolved. Which Every is, it's interesting that you mention that because you you haven't been in it for a long time. I mean, 10, 12 years is yep. is an extended period. But we've been talking to people who have been in this since like '78. Absolutely. You know, and a I long was time. born in '78. There you go. And and that one gentleman said that it's grown in leaps and bounds yeah. as far as how everything goes. But you still find that in a decade there's been some big improvements. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Environmentally, safety standards wise, rig, technologies are from year to year. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll come to this expo and uh, you'll just see new things that weren't here last year, things that are still in the developmental stages. Um, new companies all the time trying to set themselves apart from the next guy. Mm -hmm. And things are, are honestly taking, or advancing by leaps and strides. From, I, I would say from the people that started back in, in 78, the technology back then was probably not as advancing at the pace that it does today. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's a, that's a fair thing. One guy told us that they used to go to work without shirts and shorts and steel-toed boots, yeah. and, and that was it. Yeah. It's, he wasn't so sure that it's better today. It's different, right? Because that's, that's what right. he's used to. That's right. You know, and that's it. Although he did have an appreciation for the whole safety factor that's and right. such. Now, you come here, like you said, and you check out Catchcan and, and the other booths, but you're also familiar with Catchcan because of the the tools, I guess, and safety instruments that it's implemented and built for rigs. That's right. We've uh, I've, I've used Catchcan has been around since I've been on the rig. Mm -hmm. uh, so back in '98, we've been using Catchcan products. Um, the funny thing with Catchcan, though, is it's you know when you when you're a roughneck on the drill floor, you're working long shifts and you're working hard long hours and it's always nice to talk about the, the guys that were in the same place as you and eventually made it, right? Mm -hmm. And Ketchcan is always the first, you know, that fella, the roughneck from Ketchcan, mm -hmm. is always the first guy that comes to mind when uh, of, of a success story. So, you know, it, I, I've been on multiple rigs, but we've all talked about, you know, at 3, 4 in the morning, the guy that invented this tool that here we are using today, yeah. and this is the guy that made a million bucks, mm -hmm. and uh, he's, he's the one of us, that actually made it, right. and and everybody knows about the catch can guy. They might not know his name, yeah, Quinn Holtby, yeah, yeah, but he's the catch can guy, yeah, and he's one of us that actually came up with this great idea and then made it. And uh, you know, I, I, on every rig I've been to, and guys, you know, downtown, and, and me, you know, doing this show every year with my buddies, mm -hmm. you know, there's always the catch can guy. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're, it's, it's funny because off camera you said he's the guy that I'm sure is on a beach somewhere, and I haven't known him for that long, but. I don't ever think he goes to a beach. He does, seems to be like the ever ready buddy. You see, and just going and going and going. You're ruining my impression of the guy. I figured he made it. And he's got a <laughs> mojito in one hand and yeah. a cigar in the other. Yeah. But uh, no, he's 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 our success story. Mm -hmm. I would say in the drilling side of things. Well, how big of a difference has it made on the rig? Uh, so you're talking about one piece of equipment. How has that helped? 
Well, I'll tell you, one night um, we didn't have our catch can for whatever reason. This one's got half. And uh, we had to use plastic. And, and, and that would have been how they would have done it in the old days because I can't think of another way to do it. So just getting our, our new catch can, getting a new one back, and here's one, you know. It, um, it, it, it's night and day. It's, you know, you, you need it. You need, you need those pieces of equipment. Honestly, I'm surprised somebody hasn't thought about it sooner. It's, a, it's crucial pieces. It's safe pieces. Uh, it, for example, on the rig floor with, uh, with the catch can itself, it, it, you know, it'll keep the liquid out of your eyes. You know, we're using oil-based muds all the time. We're using uh, high pH mud systems. You know, you get that stuff in your eyes or in your mouth, you know, it could cause you damage. Mm -hmm. um, you need those pieces of equipment. And as far as spill containment goes, it's nice because at the end of the day, on top of the BOP, we have our catch can that's on top of our flow tee. Mm -hmm. um, that helps clean the floor. There's not, there's not, we can all mop, push everything, all of our fluids, you know, or spill, you know, mm -hmm. push that towards, towards that catch can and, and there are spills contained. We never had a, a spill. So. Are you surprised that there, and, and not just focusing on catch can here, but that there are companies out there that don't seem to be embracing a lot of the equipment that might be available to them when it comes to safety and protecting the I environment. I am, I am. Mm -hmm. Because especially nowadays, maybe, you know, in 1978 things might have been different, but nowadays um, a spill is almost just as important as, uh, you know, somebody getting hurt out there. Mm -hmm. um, companies, I'm surprised that they're not using everything that they can to, to try to mitigate, you know, spills or, you know, hurts or squirts, I guess is what mm -hmm. we call it in the oil patch, right? Mm -hmm. A spill or, or somebody getting hurt. So. You know, honestly, it is surprising to me. It is surprising to me. And our rigs at Bonavista, we use catch can products. They're all outfitted with, uh, you know, spill, spill containment systems. Um, and if they weren't, then we would look into it mm -hmm. if we were to pick up a new rig. But I, I'm honestly surprised that all the rigs aren't because all the rigs I've been on, we, there's catch can have been there right. or a specific type of system like that. Stefan, thank you very much for joining us today. I appreciate um, it. There's 2,200 exhibits here. You've been to one so far. That's right. And so you got some work to do. That's right. Excellent. We're going to be back with more interviews for you throughout these three days at the 2012 Global Petroleum Show.